Imagine growing up without your mother, having her being taken away from you in some horribly tragic, awful, agonizing way, and then being raised by your abusive stepmother slash lunatic father slash mouse slash fairy slash creepy face tree. <laughs> this is the reality for many Disney characters. In Disney Mom Group Therapy by Mo Gaffney and Kathy Najimy, we see how these Disney mothers work through their issues together. Disney Mom Group Therapy by Mo Gaffney and Kathy Najimy. Hello everyone and welcome to Disney Mom Support Group. Are we all here? Excuse me. In my insane right room, are you alive? Well, yes, I suppose. I mean, in the movie, are you alive, or do you die in the beginning, or are you dead before it starts? Well, they never actually make mention of me. I bet you're already dead then. And your name is Monique. Monique and the Beast. Hi, Monique. And you are the mother of Belle. Well, Beauty. Walt has some kind of jolt for naming his Gail's beauty. A lot to live up to if you ask me. It's like being named Stocked. So cry blue, her name is Belle. And no, the only women in the film are a witch, a teapot, and a hutch. He had her being raised by a pot and some old furniture. Hi, my name's Dolores, Dolores here, Mother Bambi. He had my son being raised by a rabbit, Monique. <laughs> I just want to take that waltzicle and saw his butter. No, no, you're among others like you. You are not alone. Most of the Disney girls were not raised by their mothers. Right, ladies? We're delighted to have you in the group, Monique. Now, why don't we do some introductions and then we can really get started. Betty, could you start us off? I'm Betty, mother of snow, Betty White. <laughs> I, know, I know, I've heard all the jokes, dead at the beginning. Hi, Betty. Hi, I'm Coral Clownfish, Mommy to Nemo. I horrifically die at the beginning of the film, and there's some sharp sugar cookies on the table if you're interested. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lors Lors, dear mother of Bambi, shot dead in the first 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I know. Welcome, Dolores. I'm Ethel, Ethel Mermaid, Mother of Ariel. I'm dead in the beginning as well, and there's some fried calamari on the table if you're interested. Welcome, Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> Jumbo. I am Mrs. Jumbo. Welcome, Mrs. Jumbo. Okay, that's everybody. Let's get started. Oh, and just so you all know, Hababa and Wada, Jasmine and Aladdin's mom, couldn't be here because they're at a burka burning. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you start with some free form? And again, Betty, could you start us off? Well, for starters, my daughter's name is Snow White, and they send her out in the forest with no sunscreen. Oh, and get this. Walt has her meet and move in with seven little men, cook and clean for them, whistle the heck out of herself, eats a Jim Jones apple, and then of course, a handsome prince comes along and kisses her, and they live happily ever after. A teenage girl and seven little men? You can't find that stuff on the internet. <laughs> That's a great start. Thank you, Betty. Coral. Why don't you go next? I just want to say not how it would happen. Would I show a hungry barracuda my nest? No! Harry, big mean killer, why don't you come and eviscerate my children and cut me open like a lupus? <laughs> <laughs> and there's some fresh biscuits on the table if you're interested. There's no biscuits like fresh biscuits. Ethel <laughs> Mermaid, it seems like you have something to say. Okay. Well again, I'm Ethel Mermaid, mother of Ariel. For starters, I would never let my daughter give up her voice and half her body for some man. I mean, she saw him on a boat. What's up with that? <laughs> Ready to get it out. Dolores, you look raring to go. You think? Well, for starters, I'm shot dead from a baby. Yup, by some hunter. Now there's a challenge in sport, huh? There I am, an innocent, graceful doe, and some jerk sneaks up from behind me, pops me to me a gram, pops me a cap. 
Oh, and can I just say, great Prince the Force? The guy I lit out the second the kid was born. It's <laughs> oh, great. Oh, it's really good to get it out. Oh, and look who's here. Barbara, welcome. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt to bark a pumpkin in the comeback space. <laughs> I'm Barbara, and I'm an alcoholic. Wrong <laughs> meat, Barb. This is the Disney thing. <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm Barbara, and my daughter's name is... <gasps> Cinder. <laughs> I'm Barbarella, and my daughter, Cinder, is allergic to mammals. And Walt had her in the room singing her guts out with the birds and the bees and the mice crawling all over, getting <laughs> dressed in the morning. Can I get you some coffee? Yes, and just a drop of Kahlua. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and how about all those jabs from Walt about me? I mean, Cinder looks like crap at 12 o'clock. Walt has her running down the 12 steps. Got it, Walt. Oh, I'm gonna go off. She runs off with some picky prints with a shoe fetish. <laughs> Thank you for that, Barbara. That was very revealing. <laughs> okay, who has it? Ah, Mrs. Jumbo, what's wrong? Arissa Cat got your tongue? Oh, boy. It was so long ago, it's hard to remember. I was a proud young elephant ripped from the jungle by the man and brought in shackles to perform in the circus. It was humiliating. Then my baby was born. Beautiful. Big ears, big trunk, big... <clears throat> <laughs> and just because he wasn't some small featured ferret, they made fun of him. The last straw was when some little brat came and tugged on his ears and I lost it. They labeled me crazy and sent me to the slammer. That is my story. Oh gosh, time's up. Great session today, ladies. And now, time for meds. Oh, and just remember, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. 